Hello everyone, it's me, I'm back. Um, you know it's going to be a serious video when I'm wearing the I am the middle child shirt. <laughs> um, I'm just going to make this video really quick, no edits or anything. I know I promised a second video today. Um, and yes, you guys have until the end of today. The end of today. From when I'm making this. You have until then. To think of a name. Dusk, Lotus, or something you guys think of. Anyways. This video, ranking all the seasons. Not cosmetic based at all. We're not talking about cosmetics at all. We're talking about new name locations, the weapon pool, the player base, all of these different things, the events, all these different things, but not cosmetics. Everything besides that. I've done a lot of cosmetic videos. This is cosmetic free. So if you guys don't care about cosmetics, this this might be the video for you. Um, Make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys like the content. Okay. I guess let's just get right into it. I know... Well, okay. <laughs> Let me explain. I said I would do a magic video with my friend, but we were playing too far apart, six feet apart. I can't hold a camera up high enough to show both sides. So we decided not to do that. And then I was like, let's maybe... We, we brainstormed ideas, and this is what we concluded. Uh, we talked about all the seasons, and he went first, and we went, since there's 14 seasons, I was like, okay, what's your favorite season? And then I said my, my, so it goes, first season is his favorite, second season is my favorite, third season is, and like some of them overlap, but like he chose first, I chose second, he chose third, I chose fourth, so he has a little bit of an advantage, because he chooses the better seasons. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, let's get into it. Uh. Out of at our, at our number fourteen spot, we have chapter two, season one. Um, I don't really think. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I don't really think it needs an explanation as to why. Um, it had I think one of the lower player bases. It was still way more than season one, but it was, it was ba very bad. Um, it, it, like it, it would have been good. I mean, obviously, new map, all this really cool stuff, all the different weapons look. The weapons look different. There were new items. The entire map is new. There were tons of new formatting decisions, and the the actual animation of the map was slightly different. So it was really big, and that was a giant update. That's the biggest update we've ever had in Fortnite. And then, six months later, we're still in Chapter 2, Season 1. And, I don't know. I just thought it it was pretty bad, overall. Um, I don't even remember there being an event, really. It just kind of went into the new season. And, it, and it's like, it was just a, it was a seven month season, I think. It, it covered so much of the year, more than half of the year. And it just, it was too much for too little. So, I don't really like it. Uh, ben did neither, so. Uh, so, yeah. Um, at number 13, it's num uh, season one. I know our opinions on this aren't the greatest of season one, two, and three, and parts of four. Because we just didn't play as much then. But season one, from what I've seen, just from the weapons, and, and and there was just, it was the beginning. There's no events. Not a lot of new items in the game. It was pretty basic. It stayed the same. Until season two happened, like, a few months later. But it was, it's, it's season one and prior, I guess. Because there there was a decent amount of time when there was no seasons, no skins, nothing. And... The game was very unbalanced, because SMGs did 8 damage, shotguns, pumps could deal 250 from 100 meters away, or they could do 2, or 7. And so it was very un unbalanced, and just really, it was weird, because they hadn't tested out anything. So, I don't blame Season 1, because it was beginning. They were testing things, seeing what's good, what's bad, what's needed in the game, and then they added those things. They only had big shields. So then they added minis, and they and they, uh, they they just adjusted, and that was a big adjusting season. But overall, it was pretty bad. But it was the beginning before they had popular. They didn't have a ton of people's opinions yet, really, because not a ton of people played. But yeah, so that's season one. Um, at number uh, I don't know what this is, twelve I think, number twelve, season ten. Um, I think. 
a lot of people expected this. Season 10 was terrible overall. Um, obviously the worst thing being the mechs. Um, but I, I personally thought that, like, it was just, it was a cool concept, you know, bringing, like, rounding up the entire chapter, you know, with, all, like, their entire battle class. I know I wouldn't talk about skins, but, like, it was all about, like, bringing all these things together from previous seasons, and they, they brought back the meteor, and they, and they, they just did all these things that were really, uh, well, they were really, it was, it was, like, N nostalgic for some people, but it was chaotic. It was a very chaotic season. The the pool of weapons and items was giant, but it wasn't great. And you could still get great weapons out of chests and stuff. And it was just a big hot mess. Um, some people liked it, some people didn't. But the biggest thing being mechs and how overpowered those stupid things were. And Fortnite didn't take them out. And that's when I really thought Fortnite separated from the community then and. That's why that season just wasn't the best. And and I just overall think, like, it wasn't that great. And, yeah, Fortnite had a bad streak between X and Chapter 2 Season 1. That was just a pretty bad time. Okay, next is Chapter 2 Season 4. That's kind of big because that's the season we're in right now. And I don't like it. I'm going to go ahead and say... I agree with a lot of people that are saying this is just one big advertisement. This is one giant money grab. And I've talked about cosmetics, or I've talked about crossovers before on this channel. There's so many. And this entire chapter has been filled to the brim with these crossovers. You know, the secret skin, which is supposed to be related to the storyline of Chapter 2 Season 2, was Deadpool. No reason at all. They just wanted money. Chapter 2, Season 3, this whole, it's part of the story. Again, Aquaman. Chapter 2, Season 4, the entire battle pass, all the mythic weapons, tons of locations, the secret skin. Oh, the, enti the entire season is a giant money grab. It's not Fortnite anymore. It's Marvel. It's Marvel Airstrike or whatever. Like the, whatever it's a Marvel game now. And I'm hoping next season isn't Marvel. Uh, Marvel, DC, I don't care. I just don't want it to be for something else. It needs to be Fortnite. And I just I just don't like it, honestly. And it, it feels like we're already so far. It feels like we're years into this season. But we're on week seven. So I don't really like it. The pool isn't even that good anyways. And number whatever, we got season two. Um, I didn't play here. Play during this time. It was still when the game was growing, um, and it, it, they were fixing things up, but the pump was still really good, and they, they added the blue pump, which was just even better, and it was just, all of it was pretty OP, and it was just, it, I don't know, I think overall it was a decent season. Events, mm, I don't really think any of the seasons had, like, insane events. I, mm, whatever season of the unvaulting event, that was pretty sick. I'm not gonna talk about events, that can be a different video, but... Uh, yeah, season two, I just don't know enough about it. I could have researched more, but I'm lazy. So, next we got season three. Same idea, except weapons were more balanced. More stable uh, player base. Uh, this is when Fortnite started popping off. And, uh, I think it was just pretty decent, pretty solid. But, you know, this is like the average. These are like average seasons. If people that say they love season three are liars, usually. Because they're just trying to flex that, flex that they played during that season. Usually. But if you like it, you like it. You know, I'm not going to be here and telling you that you're wrong for your own opinions. So, yeah. Next, we have Chapter 2, Season 2. Um, I liked Chapter 2, Season 2, and it was a great season. I loved the Battle Pass. I loved this idea of the, the secret spy season. That's a perfect theme. I love the theme Shadow and Ghost, and they take over the map, and they're fighting. That's great. And there's different... And they introduce bosses and vaults and henchmen, and that's really big. That's big, big, that's big bucks right there. That's a nice season. I loved it, and it was great. With, you know, the bosses, you, you fight these AI people, and when you take them down, you get a, a mythic weapon and a, a key card, and the key card opens a vault, and that gives you tons of loot. And then there's also, and there's bosses all over the map, and they give you different really good weapons, and so people, that's a place people will go. And then there was also henchmen, 
you know, that that are at these locations that are like bodyguards. And they also drop weapons and you can open henchmen chests and you can go into booths and transform into henchmen. Whole idea. Super cool. Loved the season. Except that it was way too long. If they narrowed down the time, this would have been top five for sure. Maybe even top three. I just... I, it introduced a ton. It was a good... Like, it really turned the chapter on a good note. So that's good. They did a lot. Because chapter two, season one, you needed a lot to turn this this game around. And they did it. They did enough. And then now it's slowly going up, but Marvel season brought it down. Next, we got season four. I downloaded the game end of season three. I started... I actually played it for the first time in four. Um, and season four... My favorite skin, Omega, I'm not going to talk about it, but Season 4 was pretty good overall. Um, they added tons of cool locations, and that's when the storyline really started to kick off. Like, the, the rocket launch was at the end of 3, I think, and then they added this Dusty Divot and stuff. Or maybe, no, I think it was at the end of 4, maybe. Anyways, they added tons of new locations and stuff, and they really hadn't just explored changing locations that much before then, but they added Dusty Divot. And they, it, I, I just thought that was a really cool season. It was a pretty solid one, too. Um, and it was the first season where Fortnite was getting record-breaking numbers. Um, so, yeah, that was when Fortnite really, like, hit a high note. Um, at number, whatever, <laughs> I don't, I'm not counting. We got season eight. This was a free battle pass. And so a lot of people don't really think about this season that much. I love season eight. Season eight was great. It was... Like, just thinking about the themes. I like thinking about the themes of certain seasons. Season 8 had one of the coolest themes. And it was, like, adventurers. And, you know, it's, like, um, in, in, like, jungles. And it was a summer. It was it was for the summer. And it was it, perf it fit perfectly. And it was great. With, like, I don't really understand Lux as 2 or 100 or really at all. But it was, like, adventurers and treasure and pirates and, like, treasure maps and you can go and find treasure and then the ballers which I hated because they were just getting people thousands of dollars in the world cup but anyways I loved that season there was world cup so yeah there was that I thought the meta the the weapon pool was great there was tons of rotation on the map and tons of rotating items like smoke grenades impulses tons of stuff like that it was a great season rift to goes which are one of my favorite items in the game I thought the build pool the 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 pool of items was great the heels, great, and I, I loved all of the locations that were added that season, like the volcano, and I also loved uh, Lazy Lagoon. Um, it was a great season. I love season eight. Um, chapter two, season three is next. Um, this was Ben's, one of Ben's favorites, um, and I, I, I agree. It was a great season. Um, at the beginning of the season, I was hyped. I was like, this is going to be the best season yet of Fortnite, but then they just couldn't keep up like the beginning the things they added at the beginning great tons of rotation which was needed in the season in and um they added tons of things that were needed for the game in that season at the beginning and people were like this is great they brought pumps back or no no, no they, they took pumps out but they had a charge and they had more mythic bosses and the mythic bosses were good and there's rotates and people were happy there's tons of heals on the map now ah uh, yes this is great and then they just stopped giving more stuff. They just kind of left it there. But it was good. It was overall good because it was good at the beginning. And I thought it was a cool theme too. This was another summer theme season. And um, yeah, good. Good job, Fortnite. Flooding the map. That's good. That's creative. Um, and I loved. I was in Yosemite when the season started, and I, I was, like, up at, like, 2 in the morning looking at the trailer when it first came out, like, on Fortnite's Twitter, and I was so hyped, and when I got back, man, that was one of the best feelings, dude. That's, the beginning of that season was so great. If they kept that up, that would, that would have been the best season, but they didn't, <laughs> so it's not. Um, next, we got season 7. Um, I love uh, Christmas, I just don't think it's as good as October. Um, I've said that before. Um, I was a little too harsh on winter, though, I'm gonna be honest. But season seven was great. They added planes. Everyone hates. I do, too. But besides that, they added some pretty good things. They added, um, frosty flights and all these locations people forget about. But they, the chests were great and the spaz was introduced, one of my favorite weapons. I thought the pool in that season was great as well, besides the infinity blade. There are a few busted weapons, I will admit. But there was a ton of cool stuff, too. And I, I, I just think overall the, the vibe of that season, 
Um, and especially, I remember when that came out, too. The, the beginning of the old seasons, at least, just filled me with so much <laughs> happiness and nostalgia, too. Like, I'm looking back and remembering, like, like sitting in my room, wearing pajamas in the morning, like, around Christmas time, and and then looking at Lachlan's video on the new season and introducing gun wraps, and I was just so happy. Like, that, and that was when I was, like, addicted to the game. Around that time, it's, like, the addiction phase, because, like, that's when... But no one's addicted to Fortnite anymore. Anyways, number three, we got season nine. Um... I, I thought season 9 was really good. The pool in season 9 was even better than season 8. Um, I thought there was a ton more rotation. I thought there was a ton of... I love the theme of, like, futuristic. That's a great theme. They hadn't explored that yet. The trailer was great, and I thought it was funny how there was Bunker Jonesy, who ate Peely after the giant volcano explosion in season 8. Great transition between seasons. Um, that, that was the vault opening, I think. Not sure. No, 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 no. That was the mech fight. What am I saying? The mech fight. That was insane. Season 10 at the vault opening. But the, the fight between the monster and the mech was so fun. I remember watching that. That was just... Man, that was something. I love that season. Everything was great. I didn't really like the combat, but... A lot of people did, so... Wait, was World Cup in season 9? Or 10? I think... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But I loved season 9. It was great. Next, we got season 6. My personal favorite season. Um, I love Halloween. That was the first Fort Nightmares. They had they had Halloween as a season, but in chapter 1, or season 1, but it wasn't really a thing. People didn't really, they didn't have Fort Nightmares, which was my favorite thing in Fortnite. And that's about to come in like, oh, five days. So I'm super excited. That's why I'm getting out these videos now, so I can just play the game in a few days instead of making videos. I love making videos. I just want to take a break so I can ex enjoy the game. Um, but uh, this was the first season that actually had Four Nightmares, and I loved the Battle Pass. I loved the themes. I loved the castle that they made, and I really, I, I just loved the entire, I just love Halloween, and this was the first one, and it was great because it was the first time, and they didn't have to repeat anything because they didn't have anything in the first place before then. And I remember all the Halloween skins they brought back, all the new Halloween skins, and just, man, it was so much fun. That was when I first started actually playing. Now, my number one. We got season five, baby. This is a good season, baby. Baby, baby. Um, season five was amazing. In fact, um, one of my favorite locations of all time, Lazy Links. I remember me and my cousin, um, my, my cousin and I, um, uh, we were up at pretty late. Um, when the new update came out that Lazy Links was going to be in the game. It wasn't at the beginning of the season, I don't think. Or maybe it was. I'm not sure. Either way, whenever it came out, everyone was dropping there. My cousin landed there. He was getting tons of kills. And I was like, wow, this guy's cracked. And I just remember that. And I just, I just love that entire location, that entire side of the map. Um, and I, I thought it was great. And I just... Everything about Season 5 is just... Viking Village and... Paradise Palms, and all these amazing locations that I just love, and will always love, and I loved the Battle Pass, and I loved just the entire theme, it was the best summer theme, summer themed season that we've ever had, um, and I thought uh, the golf carts were fun, and I just, I loved that entire season. Did they also add the Quad Crasher? I think they did. I really liked that entire season, man, that was so fun. So yeah, that's all, not, that's all 19 minutes in. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Those are my opinions. Tell me what you guys think down below. And remember, if you're watching this today on October 10th, tell me down below, Lotus or Dusk or your own idea. But please, tell me Lotus or Dusk. Please, down below. Okay, bye.